We're so ready to watch their teams playing the playoffs at the NBA tonight. This game tonight at Staples Center here in Los Angeles is brought to you by Asian Tricks. Silly rabbit, Twix are for kids. You shall. Man, that is so funny right there. I know. <laughs> but seriously, it's also kind of mean. My God, isn't that a little disturbing, my dark clone? Yes, I couldn't agree more. Now which teams are going to see next? Wow, it's the Ox King INC case. I'll invite Roger to watch this. Welcome to Madison Square Garden in New York City. He Knicks make their first playoff since 2013 as they host the Southeast Division champion, Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, this is going to be awesome right now. Now let's watch this. Oh boy, this is going to be super awesome. Man, I sure hope that Atlanta would wins the series because that's my favorite team. You could say that again. I seriously doubt they'll win. This is going to be awesome. I'm going for the Portland Trail Beavers. Well, I'm going for the Denver Nuggets. I highly doubt that. This is going to be exciting because we're rooting for the opposite teams. I know, right? This is going to be funny when he taught at each other ha 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 ha. Ooh, the next game is on. I must invite the worms over. What are you watching? Oh, you're watching the Heat vs. Bucks at the NBA? Sweet. I seriously hope that either one team would win this game. We'll be right back after the comerical break. Do you like Paul Pizza? Oh man, this sounds delicious. But we got Domino's one hour ago, so we're okay. You know guys, we should get some of that tomorrow. Sounds good? Okay. Yes. Sounds good. Looks like the King's Jazz Cirrus is coming up. I will invite Brian Griffin over. This game is brought to you by Spec and Busters. If you missed, then you should have gone to Spec and Busters. That's kinda funny. Yep. This should be funny. I invite Yin Yang over. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. The 76ers series will be a great series, right Max? Yeah, this is gonna be awesome! You know, I really like how Detroit is leading 42 to 31. Yay! It's so cool. Wow. I really like the super team song that the Warriors made because it's a Halloween one. Yes. I really like it, cause that song was made. I guess this song is a super song. If you guys know that the Suns did not make playoffs in 11 years. Wow. I didn't know that. I agree. Thanks for telling us about that. I really like how James Harden is in net now. Don't you agree, Red Circle? Yes, I agree. I need Kemba Walker to score as many points as possible. Come on. I can't believe at Jacob Harrington's universe, the regular clone of me is dead and gotten reanimated. What's happening now? Hi Jacob Harrington. I've got something to tell you. You're almost to 9,000 subs, but however, the rude employees will be filing yellow restraining orders on most of the people they have killed after General Guy for Hire episode 100. Starting at Duck and Cooper for Hire, and this will be a even larger for Hire series than Duck Cyborg Bowser's. It has 410 episodes. There will be lots of funny moments in the series, and others in this series. When they did that, this means there is nothing the people they have killed will not do anything about it since they will be in prison for life. If that happens, 
then the rude employee hunters will be having a lesser chance of winning. But hey, at least that did not happen at a different universe. Also, nice dub Bowser will be turning the reanimations back at your universe. Make him survived, but he will be killed after General Guy for hire. The reason why General Guy wants revenge on him is because General Guy wants revenge on good dub Bowser for turning the reanimations back to normal. And that's that. That's the reason why General Guy wants revenge on him. Also, Dark Cyborg Bowser hasn't gotten jobs at your universe yet, and Stinky Pete and Jay Farad finished, but will still join no matter. Also, Aaron J. Cooper, Aiden T. Cooper, Alex E. Cooper, Jackie Cooper, Tim J. Cooper, Justin T. Cooper, Tracker Fierce Cooper, Logan C. Cooper, Persephone Cooper, and good Matthew Von Cooper died in the 84th episode just like Super Mario Plush accepts that but not at a different universe still. They got assaulted to death after they attacked Bad Morton Cooper Jr. at his final job. Not only that, but good Matthew Von Cooper is the nice clone of Bad Matthew Von Cooper, so they got reanimated. What? Oh no. And welp, Jacob Harrington's universe is now in the endgame. With too many reanimations in his universe, this looks like the end of the world on his universe, and this won't be pretty at all. There's a revenge movie coming up, and it's about the wanted employees, and their gang members, sending out monsters to fight the rude employee hunting teams and all the people they have killed, and is about the rude employee hunters and the people they have killed storming into the rude employee's castle by passing all kinds of worlds, fighting monsters, and others in order to stop the rude wanted employees from taking over, similar to character eliminations, and Devious Diesel's revenge movie, but with more worlds and no characters being eliminated, and to let you know now, none of the people who have been killed will get revenge on the rude wanted employee unless they have permission from Super Mario Plush. The reason behind this is because I already know that the rude wanted employee will become even worse if anyone beats them up. But and if they do it anyways without permission, I'm afraid they're going to have to be assaulted to death again and will do stuff even worse. Besides, at the movie, the good guys come up with the plan on how they're going to defeat General Guy and his army. Super Mario Plush doesn't want them to get assaulted to death again. That'll be the worstest thing ever. Also, Itachi, Obito, and Nagato are going to fail their plan. Nice Dub Bowser is actually going to be the one to turn them back and it will be a surprise because General Guy knows how to outsmart people. Plus, the weakness of the demon is unknown. And remember that our 10 users got reanimated into demons? Well, I found out that the reanimations with white eyes are not demons. Unlike the reanimations, the color of their eyes were black instead of white, and instead of the same voice, their voices are different. Like the reanimations who were troublemakers, these are also troublemakers as well. They have a demonic voice. They are more powerful than the reanimates. Plus, the weakness of the demon is unknown, and no one knows what is the weakness to it. It's unknown why because General Guy will turn them back to normal. When they do, their memories will be lost. To turn them back, General Guy needs to touch their forehead, and when General Guy turns them back to normal, they will forget about the times they have been assaulted, and will forget about their families or friends forever. When they do, they'll forget all the times they spent together and will restart their lives all over so the only thing they can do is not order anything from them. Once they are back to normal, they will not know anyone on earth, and will have to make friends with anyone they met, like a cycle. Also, it's thought that using the powers will bring the memories back but that's not the case they can restart their lives forever, but demons are not forever because as I said before, General Guy needs to touch their forehead, and when General Guy turns them back to normal, they will forget about the times they have been assaulted, and will forget about their families or friends forever. When they do, they'll forget all the times they spent together, and will restart their lives all over so the only thing they can do is not order anything from them. Once they are back to normal, they will not know anyone on earth, and will have to make friends with anyone they met. And I got to make a message to anyone who planning to make the reanimated troublemaking demons. Guys. If you want to make reanimated troublemaking demons, just have their whole eyes black, and only black. The reanimates have white eyes and the demons have black eyes. Hope you understand. Enough talk. With all of us here, 
the good duck Koopalings will be happy about this. Hey guys. OMG I have a new voice. Now that's a one big family for the good dark Koopaling family. Yep. OMG Jacob Harrington created these. Well I did make all of these and I just did. Yes you did, except for the dark cannon Koopalings. Don't forget about me. I also got created by Jacob Harrington. And that's right. I made it up myself. You sure did. Also, I got in voice surgery. Sorry the footage is skipped, but I do have the flashback of it. Ag, this voice is not right. It's perfect for the bad clone's voice. Now time to switch my voice. Wow. This new voice is perfect for my good clone. I think I'll keep this voice. Hey guys, what's up? Wow. Some more dark Kapalians. My god. That's a lot of dark Koopalings. Wow. I can't believe he made all this. I agree. There's so many dark Kapalians, I don't know how many. Oh my god. Cool. But how many are there? Wow. So many good dark Koopalings I have made. Wow. I can't believe I've made a lot of dark Koopalings, except for the canon Koopalings. Now how many dark Koopalings are there? Sorry I was late. Sorry I was late too. Wow. That's a lot of dark Koopalings. I wonder how many duck Koopalings are there altogether? No, 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 no. I got this. Okay. Go ahead. Count how many duck Koopalings altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So there's exactly 38 dark coupons all together. So, there's 38 good dark coupalings, huh? Okay, but if Duck Risen Cooper were around, that makes 39. He also got created by Jacob Harrington since he made him himself.